Good morning, happy Monday. Say good morning, Charlie. Hello, my little boy. You've had your dinner? Yeah. So it's Monday. Here starts another week of work. Uh, we've had, I've had two four-day weeks because of the bank holiday, but now we're back to a full working week and I'm going to start with my breakfast. So I've got 50 grams of Morrison's High Fibre Bran for a healthy extra B, a toffee yoghurt for half a sin and some fresh strawberries and blueberries. I went shopping at the weekend, uh, actually out to the shop, so I was able to pick up some fresh stuff. Uh, and don't they look absolutely delicious. Look at these strawberries from Morrison's. Strawberries and blueberries. Yum, yum. Doesn't that just say summer in one picture? So my breakfast and my coffee. And I'm going to go and find something to watch before I start work. Lunch time. Busy morning again. So I have got some mixed winter vegetable soup, which has been in the freezer. That is full of free and speed vegetables. Then on the side, I've got a bit of a concoction. I've got two Linda McCartney vegetarian sausages. Again, I managed to get hold of some from Morrison's when I went in person. They are half a cent each, so one cent there. And then I've got a bit of leftover pasta. So I had this yesterday. Slimming World free food Italian style sausage pasta. And I didn't want to eat it all, and I thought rather than throw it away, I'll save a little bit to help keep me full because I usually feel a little bit hungry after I've just after I've only eaten the soup. So that is free. I don't particularly, um, I didn't particularly enjoy it. I don't think I would buy it again. It tastes it's it's like a sort of tuna texture to the okay. sausage. And then I've got a banana and some blueberries. So my lunch is one sin for the sausages with a zero sugar Fanta fruit twist. Good afternoon. It is about 20 past five and this is your Monday briefing from the outdoors. It's a lovely sunny day. Still a bit cool, still a bit of the wind chill factor. But I just thought I'd update you. I have been helping out my buddies this weekend. A couple of the ladies wanted things from the shop. Uh, and another couple just wanted someone to chat to. And what we've been doing is, on our walk around the village, we've been going to say hello to them through the windows, showing them Charlie, getting caught up, getting uh, wound up in Charlie's lead there and yeah we feel good about it. Can you hear that wind? Oh got my coat on. But yeah so yeah we've uh, done a few bits and pieces for our buddies and it, it's a good feeling. after I've been supermarket shopping. We'll see what uh, the next few days brings. Back from our walk, we just went round the village but I did try to stay out a bit longer than I normally would and push myself a little bit. Um, but I'm now ready for my evening meal which it is M M Monday Mince again or Mince Monday. And the butternut squash is finally back, as, I, as I've said a couple of times. Um, butternut squash hasn't been available online for quite a few weeks now. So as I went into the shop, I was able to get hold of one. So I've roasted a butternut squash, split it into half and topped it with the lean mince mix, which is made with the Coleman's cottage pie mix. We actually got three portions out of it again, so it's two and a half sins for my portion. So mixed vegetables, carrots, broccoli and cauliflower and 40 grams of cheese, light cheese for my healthy extra A. And then I've got a strawberry yoghurt for half a sin. This afternoon I had some plain yoghurt and raspberries and um, 
a sugar-free orange. So three sins and my Healthy Extra A on the table. Good evening. I am just about to have some my evening snacks for a Monday. I'm having a packet of french fries, which is four sins, and a chocolate orange bliss bar, which is four and a half sins, with a pear. So I've had five and a half sins elsewhere in the day. So I think that leaves me on 14 sins and I'll, as usual, be having my coffee. Although I've just had a message through to say that we are having a Zoom meeting about the volunteers thing that I'm doing. So I won't be eating this just yet, but at least I've already shown you. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I was actually thinking of uploading my a daily uh, meal yesterday, but... With the Zoom meeting and everything, I just didn't get time. So I'm going to run it into another day or two. We'll see how we go. Tuesday's breakfast is Lidl's chocolate Weetabix, Lidl's own brand. That is a healthy extra beef for two chocolate Weetabix. A banana and custard yoghurt for half a sin. And some fresh strawberries and blueberries with a lovely coffee. Good afternoon, 10 past 12. And what a lovely sunny day it is, although it still looks blowy. Kind of wanting the wind to go away now, but I guess it's still April. And they say it's blust blustery in April, don't they? But this is my lunch. And I've got the other half of my roast butternut squash. A small tin of beans. 40 grams of light cheese for healthy extra A. And some curry powder sprinkled on there no chili powder it is and then salad green leaves cucumber red onion pepper and tomatoes balsamic vinegar and salt to garnish my salad then a banana and a few blueberries and a zero sugar what's this fruit twist fanta so my lunch is all free and speed food just using my health extra a for the cheese Good evening, quarter to six, back from our walk. Look at this massive salad that Andrew's made for me. So I've got for my Tuesday evening meal, potato and carrot chips done in the Axi Fry. One of the Morrison's Melt in the Middle fish cakes for two sins. And a huge salad, green leaves, tomatoes, onions, cucumber and grated carrot. Oh, I can see some pepper there as well. And I've got the 50% reduced sugar and salt ketchup for half a sin. So two and a half sins there. And then I made up some chocolate quark with hot chocolate powder. Added some strawberries, which are absolutely delicious. And a sprinkle of cinnamon. So there's two sins in there for the options hot chocolate. So four and a half sins on the table with a no added sugar orange. Good afternoon and happy Tuesday, your Tuesday afternoon bulletin from the outside. Lovely sunny day, still a bit windy again, so apologies if there is uh, a bit of wind noise in the background. And also you might be able to hear the traffic because that behind that hedge there is the main road. <coughs> Tending, tending to come in here a bit more often now it's summer and it's dry. Uh, include a circuit of the field in my walk. So I've been busy today. Had a busy day. Uh, popped round, called round to wave at a couple of our buddies through the window. And nice to see them and they're both managing the ones I've seen today. I'll give the others a ring later in the week. Uh, and actually I was just saying to Jane from Jane Day channel, my lovely friend, uh, we were just texting that I'm actually busier now during lockdown than I was before. Work seems to be taking off. And um, I've actually had quite a few Zoom meetings. So on Saturday, Saturday night, we had a Zoom gathering 
for our Snowden group and actually that is something that I need to tell you about because I know a couple of weeks ago I announced on the channel that I was taking on Snowden again but due to the current situation it's actually been postponed it was supposed to be the 13th of June I think yeah that's right because it's the two days before my birthday it was supposed to be the 13th of June but they've postponed it uh, but we are leaving the fundraising open for now so that's why the link is still there in, in my description uh, we are trying to raise money for Mind Charity anyway so on Saturday night we had a gathering and a quiz so it was really nice to see everybody again and for my volunteering that I'm doing we're also having weekly Zoom meetings which was last night and obviously the Zoom meeting for Slimming World as well uh, yes so I actually oh and obviously I'm doing a bit of running around and checking on my buddies every now and again you see because I've changed direction the wind direction has changed so I'm actually now I'm busier now than I was before lockdown right anyway I'm gonna go back to listening to my audiobook enjoy the sunshine and catch you later Time for Tuesday evening snacks. I'm going to watch Celebrity SAS, Who Dares Wins, and uh, Race Across the World, which is an excellent programme, really worth a watch. And while I watch those things, I'll be munching on these. Um, you Shy Lightly Sea Salted Pea Snaps for Four Sins. And I thought this looked a bit sorry for itself. It's obviously got crushed in my bag. Uh, one of the mint dark chocolate skinny whip snack bars not my favorite I must admit but I've never been a fan of mint chocolate but I bought them uh, well I was uh, sent them very kindly and I finished the box and that is four and a half sins I've tried them I do I do enjoy them but they wouldn't be my first choice but yeah four and a half sins for the mint dark chocolate skinny whip with an apple so I've already had five sins throughout the day so that leaves me on 13 and a half sins with my coffee I thought he'd come in for his chew but obviously he's not we'll go and give the little dog one of his many treats oh look there he is come in come in as soon as the, the uh, drawer had opened Good morning, happy Wednesday, and we have a birthday boy in the house. Who is two? You are two. You are two. Happy birthday, Charlie. Is he two? Oh, he's two. That means you don't pinch slippers anymore. But you're not a puppy, you're a big boy now. We'll see about that, shall we? Right, let's see what's for breakfast. So my breakfast today is porridge, as usual, on a Wednesday. It is 40 grams of ready bread for a healthy extra B, uh, about 150 ml of skimmed milk and some boiling water to, to make it the right consistency that I like. Then a chopped pear and five grams of chocolate powder for half a sin with a coffee made with more skimmed milk. So my breakfast is healthy extra B, part of my healthy extra A and one sin. Well, it's lunchtime, another busy morning. Feels like a long week though. I think I said that at the beginning of this vlog. Anyway, for my Wednesday lunch, I've got curry loaf. The rice I've used is the uh, Bachelor's curry rice, which was one and a half sins for the pack. So this portion is half a sin for my rice. And then I've mixed that with chickpea dal and eggs to make a curry loaf. And then I've got that on the salad, green leaves,
cucumber, onion, peppers, tomatoes and beetroot. No sauce today because I don't have any garlic and herb sauce left or any yoghurt to make a yoghurt and mint dip. So I'm going to have to just eat it like this, but never mind. Then I've got some blueberries and a banana and another fruit twist Fanta. So half a sin for my lunch. Right, it's quarter to six. Me and Charlie are back from our walk and we also did more errands for our buddies. Went to fetch some milk for one of our ladies. But back now and it's time for our evening meal. I've got the chicken chasseur, which has been done in the slow cooker, chicken breast and the um, Coleman's chicken chasseur packet mix, which is seven sins. So three and a half sins for my portion with some veg, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower and peas, roast potatoes done in the active fry, and then a pot of cork mixed with a banana and custard yogurt, fresh strawberries and sprinkle of cinnamon. So there's half a sin there for the yogurt and no added sugar orange. So four sins on the table. So as I said earlier, it's Charlie's birthday, Wednesday the 22nd of April. And uh, if he cooperates, which we all know you should never work with children or animals, we'll try and show you what we've got him for his birthday. It's not a big build-up, but anything slightly exciting in this uh, current situation, I think we should take a bit of pleasure out of. So I'll show you the man himself. He was born on a bank holiday Monday and he is now two. And this is his current colour, Mabel and Moo. We actually bought this from the Lake District. It's a purple and red tartan. And of course, every birthday, the first thing we think of is a new collar. So I'll unpack that and then we'll have he a look. He has already spied his next presents. That's why he's so attentive. But here is his new what's it called spotty creations what does it say on there no, this is his new uh, color oh so it's a brown chocolate colored color with multicolored spots mabel and moo but this time it was ordered online He's showing it off beautifully there. Right, this is what he's after. This is an antler horn. And he knows what it is, isn't it? Oh, what's that? Is, is it called an antler horn? Well, yeah, it's just yeah. Like an antler, yeah. yeah. Part, part, part of an antler. Good for dogs to chew on. Uh, it'll last him probably a good two months, although he's straight into it there. Sometimes he plays with it a bit first. But I think but this is his this is the third one he's had, so I think he knows what they are now. Do you want to open that? And the last thing we've got him. is some Whimsy's Chews. So those of you who go to Pets at Home regularly will recognise these where you get a toothbrush, a toothbrush, a little dentist stick and I think is that meant to be some kind of crocodile or something? So what are they made of? Let's have a look. Dog treats with natural ingredients, low fat and great tasting chew that dogs love. The special shapes will help remove tartar and plaque as they chew. And it is a box of 48. He's not had these very often, but let's see if it tempts him away from his antler horn. Charlie! Oh, what's this? Come on then, sit up, sit. Good boy. Happy birthday, Charlie. Did I say, I can't remember if I said in the previous clip. He is two today. 
He was born on, I can't remember if it was Bank Holiday Monday. I think it was a Sunday. Easter Sunday or Bank Holiday Monday. But he cost his uh, breeder mum a lot of money, or all the puppies did, because they had to pay for the emergency vet on a bank holiday. He has got a little bend in his tail, or kink, but to us that makes him all the more perfect. Look at him showing off that new collar. What do you think, Dad? He likes everything. He likes everything, yeah. There we Is that go. nice? Oh, he's nice. So I'm going to quickly show you my snacks for this evening and then I'll try and get this video uploaded tonight. Oh, it's nice. What a good boy. We see him getting into it. Oh, yes. As I say, it is only quarter past six, so I'll be having these later on tonight, but I'd quite like to get this video uploaded tonight. So these are my snacks for later on. Uh, a pack of salt and vinegar golden wonder ringos for three and a half cents. A dairy milk little bar. I actually got these from Morrison's. Usually I get them like from Home Bargains or B&M, but I managed to find them on Morrison's. I'm just looking, oh, there we go. 18 gram bar is five sins with an apple and a coffee. So I've previously had five and a half sins elsewhere in the day. So I end Charlie's birthday on 13 and a half sins. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And if you're awake tomorrow morning around 7 o'clock a.m., do feel free to join me for my weigh-in live video. See you next time.